more time has gone by than expected, you might be. On the train, it's pretty flat. Uh, it's pretty there. This is our uh, leopard and uh, snack uh, that are useful in, in our terrain. Uh, and railing, as I said. More sparks in the water. Yeah. So I can grab yeah. it and then light it. And yeah, put it down and the other work on top of it. Ready. There is no time. Okay. Slower, harder. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And then we start the fire making test. So if you have a fire there, bring all logs here. Finland train NATO allies in winter survival skills. In northern Finland, temperatures regularly drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius, which makes it the ideal place to train military personnel from allied countries on how to survive in the cold. In Lapland, northern Finland, where temperatures regularly drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius, Finnish instructors from the Finnish Defense Forces Jaeger Brigade run different courses for military personnel from various NATO countries. In this iteration, course participants came from France, the United Kingdom, the United States as well as Finland. The course focuses on subjects such as using layered clothing, protecting against and treatment of injuries related to frostbite, sustaining performance capability, making fires, developing cross-country skiing skills and rescuing from the ice. your knife in the right place. Very well. Now just breathe and stay calm. Arms out. Spread your arms.
Take your keys. You can turn. Stay calm. Good effort. I love that. This was tough. No. Woo. Okay. Save your skis. Another one also, please. Two skis. Oh, yeah. Still okay. can. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Look at me. Go back. Name and unit. Staff Sergeant Kohler, 31st Operation Squadron, Aviano Air Base. My job, my job. Sergeant First Class Capel. From United States. From the United States. From which state? Arkansas. Arkansas. Save your kids, save your poles, save your backpack. Good effort. Good effort. Crawl. I'm actually a SEER instructor for the U.S. Air Force and uh, we were tasked with coming out here to learn from the people who know best about what the Arctic Circle is like so that we can better train our forces, our warfighters, our pilots, our operators. First and foremost, the environment is a lot tougher. I'm used to, you know, the swamps of Louisiana, very hot. So it's a huge change of pace coming out here in the cold. Um, really puts us to the test. Uh, well, the Finns, I mean, they've been doing this their whole lives. So I think they have a deep rooted knowledge within their society and what better place to learn than from the source itself. Uh, when you're not doing anything, you're just standing still, it is brutally cold. So that's the importance of uh, following what the fins are teaching and layering up properly, but also knowing when to layer down on movements and different things so you're not sweating too much, which can just cause further problems. So we're 120 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. So obviously that brings in a whole ream of different issues in terms of the length of the day, uh, the fact that everything's frozen all the time, there is, there's no let up from the, there's no warmth from the sun, there's no let up during the day. It's almost as cold during the day as it is at night, the variations are not as much. For the students, it's a, it's a plus to have uh, soldiers from different nationalities with different backgrounds so they can learn from each other. As we are part of uh, NATO, uh, for us it's important that the other nations are also capable of uh, surviving and fighting in these uh, conditions.